With Autodesk Account, you can download and install not just the current version of your software, but also up to three versions back. To get started installing software from Autodesk Account, I'll navigate to manage.autodesk.com from my web browser of choice. In this example, I'm using Google Chrome, but Internet Explorer, Edge, or even Firefox will also work. After navigating to the Autodesk account website, I'm prompted to log in. So I'll begin just by entering my email address and choosing next. From there, I'll complete the login process by entering my password and then choosing sign in. Now, depending on the size of your software portfolio, the Autodesk account site may take a moment to load, but once it does, you should see a complete list of all the software in your portfolio. In my case, I'm interested in installing a previous version of AutoCAD, and I can accomplish that by finding AutoCAD in my portfolio of software by scrolling down in my list of products, or what I like to do is just use the search tool in the upper right corner of the site to search for my software, AutoCAD in this case. Now, after locating AutoCAD in the list, however you do that, I can access all the downloads for AutoCAD, including the installation files by selecting the downloads button. This will go ahead and open up the download screen. Now by default, the current software version, 2018 in this case, is selected, but to install a previous version, I'll select the versions dropdown list. Now when subscribing to Autodesk software, you can download and install the current version plus the last three versions. What that means is I can currently choose between the 2018, 2017, 2016, all the way back to the 2015 version of my software. In this example, I'd like to install AutoCAD 2017. So selecting my desired software version, I'll choose the Install Now button. This opens up the License and Services Agreement window for AutoCAD, and after reviewing that agreement, I'll choose Accept and then Install to proceed with the installation. Doing this downloads the web installer, which will appear in the Downloads area of your browser. Once it's complete, just double-click on the installer to begin the Autodesk Install Now process. If in doing this, the user account control dialog opens based on your security configuration, click yes to continue the installation. From here, the full installer for your software, AutoCAD 2017 in this case, will open up. To begin configuring how I'd like to install AutoCAD, I'll go ahead and click the install button at the bottom of the dialog. From the Configure Installation Options page, I'll select the Disclosure Triangle beneath the product listing for my software to open its configuration options. From this screen, you can make adjustments to how your software will be installed, including whether certain subcomponents are included with your installation. After reviewing these configuration options and making the desired changes, just click the Disclosure Triangle once again to close the configuration view and return to the product list. After verifying everything is set just the way you'd like it, click the Install button at the bottom of the screen. This begins the actual process of writing files to disk and installing your software. During this process, an overall progress bar is displayed at the bottom of the window. Once completed, an installation status window opens up. Assuming a successful installation, the message, you have successfully installed the products, displays at the top of the installation window. From here, click Finish to complete the install process and close the installation window. At this point, my software is installed and I can launch it for the very first time with the shortcut icon placed on both my desktop and start menu. Now, the first time you launch your software, the Autodesk licensing dialog will open up. Choose I agree at the bottom of this window to activate your license. Notice our software is activated at this point without the need to input a serial number. Since I used the Install Now function on the Autodesk account website, all licensure details were automatically applied as part of the installation process. So with my software both installed and activated, I can proceed to using it to create exceptional designs. 
For CAD Microsystems, I'm Donnie Gladfelter, and thanks so much for watching.